Very well, Mr. Justice. Present your evidence. Show us the link between our witness and Drew Misham. Do we have... Yeah, we have the letter. Yep. To David Chrysler. That Phoenix Wright stole. That obviously says David Chrysler. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Your Honor, I, I am not David Chrysler. Um, I do not live at Apple Street. Ah, damn. We're 19 away from 800, y'all. That's, That's crazy. Freaking bonkers. Holy shit. It's I'm just That's thinking so of like cool. Apollo waving this letter around, and then they at like, okay, Kristoff, what what do you have to say about this? And he's like, you know, the Devin Bostic, like in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the second movie, but going like, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> this evidence proves there is there's a link. Oh, oh you Christoph get the Christoph objection. objection. Yeah, that scrap of paper i'm afraid i can't let you submit that is there some problem there is how could you possibly have that you couldn't hmm? hey that's daddy's handwriting trucy why the fuck would you say that right now <laughs> yeah. that is the trucy? worst thing you could have said ah! trucy Mr. Wright's handwriting? What is the meaning of this? Objection! Ah, I see now. Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? I just remembered I had a visitor yesterday. Phoenix Wright came to my cell, except I wasn't there. Phoenix Wright? When I returned, I saw he had something of mine in his possession. Of course, I had no intention of letting him get away with reading my private mail. Mail? You mean this letter was in your cell? No. However, it appears Mr. Wright has yet to be cured of his bad forging habit. Well, if it's a forgery, it's not a very good one. The handwriting's terrible. <laughs> and your name is spelled David Chrysler. <laughs> this is Mr. Wright's reproduction of what was written in the real letter. Reproduction? When Mr. Wright visited Christoph Gavin's cell, he brought with him a small video camera. <laughs> <laughs> He recorded his entire conversation with you, Mr. Gavin, and the contents of your personal mail. <laughs> Regardless. Yes, we're getting the Twitch face. I love this mm. face. This mockery of a piece of evidence will never be accepted by the court. Evidence based on a video a man with no authority whatsoever claims he took. A man who happens to be an ex-attorney suspected of forgery. I mean, he's got a point. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hmm. Prosecutor Gavin? Prosecutor Gavin? As embarrassing as this is for me to say, I'm afraid my brother is incapable of making rational judgments at the moment. Screw you, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. Your Honor, your decision, please. 797! Oh shit, we need three more people! Then Holy we're at shit! Damn! 800! Woo! What? Hi, everyone. Oh my god. That's awesome! That's 800 people watching us at one time. We're over 800. Hey! 800? That can't possibly There's be There's no way that can be right. <laughs> the defense's claim is denied. What? <laughs> 
Only actual evidence is permitted in a court of law. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Please remove the defense's evidence from the record. <laughs> Better luck next time. Justice. <sighs> The miracle never happened. Damn. Well, we've certainly taken a detour from our cross-examination. But the defense appears to be lacking proof. I'm forced to end the cross-examination of Christoph Gavin at this point. Apollo, do something. I'm thinking. But without evidence, I don't have anything I can use on him. Very well. This ends the special witness's cross-examination. Objection! Oh, ah! The show's over, yet the crowd screams for more. Only now do I understand why. Prosecutor Gavin? Frankly, I'm relieved. This has been bothering me for seven whole years. And I'm tired of the whole youthful angst scene. Now's our chance. Let's clean out the family closet, eh, Christoph? Oh, Get shit. his ass! Oh, shit! Clavier, you're spinning out of control. Calm yourself before you say something you'll regret. Spinning out of whose control? Mine or yours? Yeah. Such a good line. <laughs> Take a moment to consider everything you've built. Your reputation as a prosecutor. Your fame with the masses. You could lose it all, Clavier. Apollo, did you see that? He's trying to press Prosecutor Gavin. Prosecutor Gavin, try to remember what's really important to you. All your rock fans do not give a shit about the fact that you're a lawyer. They, they <laughs> do not care. <laughs> they could absolutely take this. This is going to have no relevance. They would probably <laughs> like it more if you just focused on music. Just putting that out there. You are a goddamn rock star. No one gives a shit about this. <laughs> you amuse me, Air Forehead. I couldn't forget what's really important to me, even if I tried. It's been you all along. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> In fact, I haven't. Not even once. Seven years ago. <sighs> hey, everybody, it's me as a baby. <laughs> The little Finally. baby returns. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't resist, could you, Herr Wright? Resist what? Presenting solid evidence? Might I request we put the current cross-examination on hold? The prosecution would like to call a new witness. Oh! Hey! Wait, does Nesby get to do something? Oh. Yay! Yay! Flashback voice acting! <laughs> State your name and occupation. The, the flashback ends right here. <laughs> no fucking way! Oh my god, way! it does! <laughs> no no fucking god way! Damn. <laughs> no, I'm dying Steven. now. <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> Why would they do that like that? <laughs> oh Holy my god! Shit.
That was fucking hilarious. Incredible. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I'm familiar with the trial. I've watched the video several times. <laughs> yeah, we've watched a video in here several times. You can say that. <laughs> Didn't you find anything unnatural about it? Unnatural? With powers that some might deem <laughs> unnatural. unnatural? Well, you <laughs> did seem unusually God. well prepared. Kristoff is Darth Plagueis the Wise! Oh shit, he is. <laughs> ah! You I mean, know Darth Plagueis the Wise could forge any evidence he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> They I say think. that he could even bring back your attorney's badge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mr. Wright had only just presented his evidence. The next moment, you call in Drew Misham. It's almost as if... Almost as if... What? You got really lucky! <laughs> <laughs> Funny. It didn't even occur to me to wonder. Now that I do, I see there's only one possible explanation. Almost as if, from the very beginning, you knew Mr. Wright was going to present that evidence. Uh, correct. I knew that if I applied the usual pressure, Phoenix Wright would eventually come up with that forged diary page. Don't do this, Clavier. I knew because you told me, Kristoff. Fuck yeah. What? It was the night before the trial. Clavier. Kristoff? Not seeing you at the prosecutor's office the day before the trial. Hey. Uh, Are you I really won't be going appearing. to dress like that for the trial <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, what, what's wrong with my outfit? If I could give you any piece of brotherly advice, please, please don't wear that. I can see your name. <laughs> <laughs> also, something about forged evidence, but we have to stick out this outfit for a bit longer. First, but we're going on a shopping montage first. <laughs> uh, I it won't be appearing going in trial, shopping. <laughs> huh? Why not? Oh, also, this just occurred to me that, yeah, originally they were going to be competing against each other in this case. Which yeah. also feels mm, like a yeah. conflict of interest that you wouldn't let happen, just putting that out there. Probably shouldn't. I won't be facing off with you on your first trial, apparently. But in exchange, I brought information. Information? The attorney who'll be there in my place tomorrow is not to be trusted. Don't even give him the benefit of your respect. Damn. Listen. I want you to call in a special witness. Then. I like Stop to, uh... Talking after that. I don't really know why. <laughs> I like to think, by the way, that part of why... I mean, obviously, the tip-off is part of the reason, but I also think part of the reason why Clavier may have been so, like, uh aggressive and like on the ball while he was facing phoenix is partly because like i think he kind of has some energy to work out of like oh i was planning to face my brother today and i was really gonna you know like <laughs> oh, i had a, sure. a, a chip on my shoulder about yeah, that I sort know. of sibling rivalry so he kind of has like phoenix to sort of supplant like well if i can't take down my brother i can take down this guy oh yeah i mean it's it, yeah. regardless, it's his first case phoenix is still like a living legend at this point like to be able to beat him is like fucking huge yeah no that makes sense i like that i wondered about it at the time how did christoph know so much prosecutor gavin christoph we were supposed to face each other in that trial. A 
fair fight. Brother to brother. Big brother. Brother bear. Jungle to jungle, starring Tim Allen. I deserve that much. Kevin, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! <laughs> you let me borrow the victim's belongings. You showed me all your research on the case. The victim's belongings? Wait, why did he have that if he was the defense attorney? They don't help them for shit. <laughs> Which would have included Magnify's diary, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute, you've been getting evidence this whole time? I thought that was a joke. <laughs> and stealing it. I mean, acquiring it uh, in other methods. Taking it, you know, borrowing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we stole evidence! <laughs> Alright, if you can't do the time, don't, don't do the crime. Don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. Now get out. <laughs> but we stole evidence! Yeah. On, On National Free Evidence Day. Evidence Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gavin. Which one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, there were the two pretty of them. one. This is getting yeah, out of hand. Yeah, which one? Uh, sorry, hey, Gavin. Oh, there are two of them. Shit. <laughs> my, my, Clavier. You disappoint me. You find trees, yet miss the forest. The way that the tint on his glasses is so flesh-toned <laughs> looks so weird at times. Yes, but his glasses are flesh. Yeah, wear flesh glasses. It's the highest fashion. You're the one missing the forest, Mr. Gavin. Good one, Apollo. Nice. <laughs> God. No, you! <laughs> you can't sweep this under the rug. Not anymore. Tell me what was going on behind that trial. Why not? I've achieved what I came here to do. I see no harm at a little... Reminiscing. Apollo! I think we're finally going to shine a light on all the... Uh, I think we're finally going to shine a light on the black belly of this thing, Trucy. We've done everything we could. I hope it's enough. Seven years ago, the day before the trial, I visited the detention center at the request of my client, Zach Grammary. Two cards. One card. Showdown time. Enough. You lose, Gavin. Thanks for the work. Now go. To be honest, I don't know what his reasons were to this day. Are we going to find out that Christoph Gavin killed several people all because of some, some because he's, weirdo? Because he's a, he's a sore loser. <laughs> because he's a sore loser and also Zach Grammary was a weirdo who refused to let people represent him unless they beat him in a card game. There's, I mean, there is something he's to He's definitely this. a big sore loser. Oh yeah, but yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll I'll wait until we get a little further. For to sure, talk for about sure. My thoughts on this. As far as I could tell, he dismissed me as his representation because I lost in a game of poker. I can come to no other conclusion. Daddy used to say something. If you want to know a man. You have to compete. Yep, Dad here it is. kind of a shithead. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Zach wasn't watching his points. Or the cards. He was watching... He was watching his soul. The man behind the cards. Christoph Gavin. I actually he think this watching... is kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. It's he like, you know, I don't really care whether you beat me or not. I just care about, like, understanding your character. Are and he, you... like, yeah. just... Just through playing that card game, he was like, this guy's a freak. This guy is an <laughs> absolute yeah. asshole. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I genuinely believe that in real life. I think the best way to get to know people is playing games with them. 
because you learn how people win and how people lose. And mm -hmm. those are two of, I think, mm -hmm. the most uh, human moments mm -hmm. that we that we get is like that feeling of victory and the feeling of like losing to someone and learning how people handle those heightened emotions mm -hmm. is a big yeah. indicator of what kind of person that they are. And it could be potentially a big red flag. <laughs> Like, and, uh, and you this... know, they could be a bass murderer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just played a hand of poker with you, and you are definitely going to kill someone, so... Nope. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Phoenix Wright. A second-rate attorney who relies on luck and bluffs. Again, has only lost once at this point in time. No, he relies on his magic teenage assistant. <laughs> uh, just get yourself one of those. They're like dime a dozen in this world, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> just Welcome to Magical Teenage Girl Emporium. <laughs> just put like a help wanted ad in the paper. Need teenage girl with magic powers <laughs> to assist me as an attorney. You'll get like... 20 hits by the next day. Yeah, and then the next day, Chris Hansen shows up to your doorstep. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? What are you doing? <laughs> and you said that you wanted her to break uh, locks <laughs> with you? <laughs> are you uh, are you asking a teenage girl to help you break into places? Is that what's happening? <laughs> and uh, I see here you requested that she be able to turn into an older woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he dismissed me and went with that pitiful excuse for a man. He deserved to die for that error alone. Jesus Christ, bro. Maybe yeah. take a step back just a little bit. <laughs> Are you okay? No, he's <laughs> not. I didn't you even get to use the thing. Yeah, I wait, they said, said they actually said hold it. They didn't put up the thing that they made. You should have seen what I did to the guy that brought me the wrong dressing for my salad. <laughs> <laughs> so, the one who requested that forgery was... Oh, I'm not admitting to anything. My point is, these two men shamed me. And I could not forgive that. Phoenix Wright and Zach Grammary both deserved what they got. So you asked Mr. Misham to per So you asked Mr. Misham to forge that evidence! So you could win! But when you were dismissed as Zach Grammary's attorney, you used your forged evidence as a trap! As a trap card! Ha! Huh. You fed me information about the forgery you made. Then you gave your dirty evidence to him! You're free to imagine what you will. My point is that all I had imagined came to pass. Everything went perfectly. Can somebody, like, please declare this man guilty already? <laughs> Incredible. If I wasn't laughing, I'd weep. Prosecutor Gavin? Perfectly. <laughs> You're mad, Christoph. Stop fooling yourself. What are you talking about, Clavier? Tell me, how did that trial end? Cancelled when the defendant vanished. <laughs> I get it. So, Christoph. You've been living in fear for seven years. What? You were afraid your forgery would be revealed and your reputation trashed. 
You couldn't yeah, leave also, things to chance. Yeah, also, really quick. Now we're almost at 900 people. What the fuck? Why are y'all watching us? Are you kidding me? That's we incredible. Suck. No, that's incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's wild that we're at almost 900 people watching. That's wild. You couldn't leave things to chance. You watched everyone involved with the case for seven years! Including... You know... Spark Brush... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know... Video game... I don't know what you're doing. You give Spark Brushel a bunch of lines in this segment, but you can't give Drew Misham one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a dick move, honestly. <laughs> you know, he always felt like he was being watched. That's what he said. Every day for seven years. But I felt it too. Journalists sure he is being watched, end quote. Don't you wonder why Zach Grammary got rubbed down after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? Wait just a minute. Zach Grammary was seen by this reporter? How is that possible? Was he alive after being gone seven years? Uh, yeah, sorry, Judge. Yeah, I don't know how you didn't know this part, but yeah. <laughs> Why does no one tell me anything? <sighs> Finally. I knew this moment was coming. I just didn't think we'd get here so fast. Zach Granary, gone missing for seven years. Trucy's father. What's wrong, Apollo? Go get him. All right. Leave it to me. Allow me to refresh the court's memory. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. I remember him quite well. Shoddy Smith, was it? Poisoned at a Chinese restaurant. Tragic. The details don't really matter right now. What matters is that traveler was Zach Grammary. What is it, Apollo? Huh? I was kind of thinking you'd be, you know, surprised about <laughs> that. Keep going. We'll talk about it later. Uh, did she already know? Someone please explain <laughs> this. <clears throat> Mr. Justice, can you explain this? It all started seven years ago. Ah, seven years ago again. <laughs> DL6. The Great Magician... No! The Great Magician Magnifique Grammary's death started it. You mean the turtle? Yes. Magnifique Grammary's no, wait. death... wait. Are we gonna get Magnifique voice? <laughs> Come on, student, game. Zach Grammary, the suspect. Whoever defended Zach in court successfully would be famous beyond belief. No! Thinking that, Christoph Gavin did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. Drew Misham? Actually, it was his daughter, Vera, who did the work. You took precautions when you had that forgery made, didn't you, Gavin? Precautions? To keep people from talking, of course. I assume this is Please do no too much! <laughs> yeah, I don't know who this is supposed to be. I mean, I, I would have to assume it'd, be it'd probably just Christoph. be Christoph. Uh, Christoph, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be Christoph. Yeah. But, like, talking to himself? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. He's a villain. He's monologuing. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when you planned your poisoning of the forgers. A troquinine. Applied to a commemorative stamp. But luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. 
Wait, he used a poison and a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> How many ways was he trying to kill these two? His daughter. She saved him by taking the stamp. I see. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The area need nail polish. Of course. You noticed something when you requested that forgery. When Vera Misham is nervous, she has a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. To drink nail polish? <laughs> ah. That nail polish was her good luck charm. <gasps> yeah! Woo! We finally made it! Hell we yeah. did it, folks! We did it. Team. Listen, that this is what this is the power that the community has. <laughs> when we stand together, <laughs> united, we can make change happen. <laughs> she was almost kidnapped once. Since then, she's been well. You can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. That person gave me a good luck charm for when I absolutely had to go outside. It protects me. Yes, apparently she received something. A gift. She won't tell me what it is what it was. It was from that client. The one who wanted that note made. And as her father, I find it incredibly okay to allow my <laughs> infant, my adolescent daughter to accept gifts from strangers. Yeah, I didn't even see the guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems nice enough if he's giving my daughter a present. It was his insurance. Insurance? Yeah, like Geico. Are we talking, are we talking <laughs> State Farm or All State? <laughs> As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. But what if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And the nail polish would do the rest. His time bomb sat there for seven years. And then, they went off almost simultaneously. So Vera really survived because she was such a shut-in this entire time. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Yes. Wow, I've learned a valuable lesson today. <laughs> Although I guess, Never you know, to, for, my house. for Christoph, <laughs> it didn't uh, really matter when or where it happened. True. Just exactly. that it did eventually. Yeah. Yep. If you're finished, may I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. It hasn't long. been that long. Mr. Gavin, have you heard a I single like to... thing we've said? <laughs> no. No, my, my ears have also atrophied quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I listened quite closely to your little tale. Quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier. Surely you understand. But back to the evidence. The lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the Atroquine that took Drew Mission's life. Objection! What about the restaurant? You killed Zach Grammary! To keep him from talking! I killed no man of that name. I killed Shoddy Smith. Oh, dang Fucking it. hell. Got me again. Seven years passed, so he was no longer a murder. <laughs> he didn't count yeah, as a person. Because he, he didn't exist. Are we back? We're back. Uh, I guess just for shits and giggles, can you read the last like couple lines again, Wes? Yes. I killed no man of that name. Read over the report again if you like. The victim was a traveler by the name of Shoddy Smith about whom we know little else. You can't seriously think I knew he was that particular fugitive. Objection! 
Okay, then why did you kill him? I plead my right to remain silent. Oh shit, is this the first time somebody's actually done that in this game? It doesn't yes, really matter here, not the right not the right time for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. You're, you're, you're not under arrest, right? You're not being detained right now, you're on the stand. Mm, mm. In that case, you'd just be like, I don't want to answer that. Yeah, you know, this isn't really a pleading your right situation. You could just not want to answer. Gotcha. <laughs> Remember, this court did not convene to put me on trial. They never do, but here we are. Objection! The defendant's name is Vera Misham, suspected in the murder of her father. My trial's been finished for six months now. Objection! Hmm. I'm afraid we have strayed considerably from constrained considerably from our purpose here. We're here to send a teenage girl to jail. <laughs> this court <laughs> concurs with witness. It is Defendant Vera Misham who is on trial here. No! You are doing so well, Apollo! As long as there is no evidence to support the accusation against him, this course of inquiry cannot find Vera Misham innocent. Objection! Your Honor! Phoenix Wright spent seven years collecting this evidence! Objection! You still don't get it, do you? Let us assume there was poison in the nail polish. Who then was responsible for causing Vera Misham to bite her nails? What? It wasn't me, I know that much. The one who brought that poison to her lips was you. That's not how this argument works. If you poison the thing, it doesn't matter who made her put her mouth to that thing. So you're going to jail. Did I know that? <laughs> Did I know that perch? Perch, back to jail for longer. <laughs> I had a guitar riff for Zach's sick track. What? Evidence is everything. There is nothing more. I believe this discussion has reached its conclusion. Your Honor! Mr. Justice, you have performed admirably well for a novice attorney. Motherfucker! <laughs> I respect your partner, Phoenix Wright's determination as well. He's not my partner. I kind of hate him, actually. That's, that's Clavier. I mean, uh... However... Without direct proof, you have nothing. Isn't that right, Clavier? Uh... Unfortunately, yes, Christoph. You're right. <gasps> that is, you would have been right until now. Oh, shit. Let's fucking go. What? Did the news not reach your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. Oh, shit. He doesn't know about the jury. What an idiot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Which, right. again, is wild that he wouldn't have been told that, but sure. Yeah, yeah sure. That's right. I'd totally forgotten. The jurist system! Jurists, you say? The current judicial system is poopy and has been deemed too closed <laughs> off from society. This new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law 
And let me tell you, I am not optimistic. <laughs> Common citizens? Wisdom? <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke? What could we possibly gain by doing this? Entrusting our judicial system to a mindless, emotional mob of irrational mouth breathers? Damn Tell well. us how you really feel. Common citizens have something called common sense. <laughs> common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense! There is only room for two in this court. Me and the law. <laughs> Keep the riffraff out. Out, I say. Guy who says riffraff unironically. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to jail for that. They're not in the court, actually. They're watching everything by video camera. Uh, Chat, they say, see you. That was incredible that they just turned and looked at the camera. Holy shit. I genuinely <laughs> jumped a second there. Uh, this, is the, this is the Ace Attorney creepypasta. How can you allow this? Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen Ooh, this is gonna be oh, here we go. was Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright? Objection! So, everything was leading to this. Of course. Right. 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 Right! Oh, so he is the devil. Oh. <laughs> you fucking nailed it, Wes. Good yeah, job. that was really good. Actually, I feel bad that I, I made a sound over it because it was great. <laughs> I won't accept. I can't accept! This is no court! Law! The law is everything! Law is absolute! You let ignorant swine soil your courts? Kristoff, it's over. Javier! The law is absolute? You can't be serious. What? Odd. I thought you spent your life looking for loopholes. <laughs> Law isn't absolute. It's filled with contradictions. The law is the end product of many years of history. The fruit of human knowledge. Like a gem polished to a gleam through trials and errors. And tribulations, TM. It is this fruit we receive and pass on and face in our time. That sounds like a weird religious thing. I don't know. It also sounds like he tried to cram too many metaphors in there. <laughs> and it is always changing, growing, nurturing it, nurturing it. Is our task as human beings. I do really like this line. Except for you, Kristoff. You aren't changing. You've stopped. Mm-hmm. You're not needed anymore. That sprite is just incredible. Holy I shit. I mean, it really does look like he's a character out of a horror game. Yeah, it's Got really it. good. I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday I'll know what law is. And I'll try to change it if I have to. Is. <laughs> I wanna know! Can you show me? I wanna know about the law! <laughs> I see no need to further prolong this trial. 
This began as the trial of Vera Misham, accused of murdering her father. The painter drew Misham, who doesn't get to talk. However, <laughs> several other incidents were reviewed, and we seem to have reached a conclusion. Before this court declares a verdict, I await your decision. Uh, really quick, Chad is warning me to save here? Yes, because there are two endings. You have, you have a choice. <laughs> Jurists of the court. For the death of Drew Misham, how do you find the defendant, Vera Misham? Innocent or guilty? Well, what the fuck do they expect us to think here? I turn to you now to consider this matter. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, I don't know. I can't stop paying attention. Oh no, the stream broke again. This. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. <laughs> the jurist's chambers. Oh, I think this is supposed to be like, is this Phoenix or is this a computer voice? I think it's, I mean, it's technically a quote unquote computer voice, but it is Phoenix who okay. does the, the oh, voice. Okay. All right, all right. This ends the trial for this case. Only the verdict remains to be decided. Defendant Vera Mission is currently in intensive care. If the decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Mission's death? Did another po person poison him? If so, she is innocent. The panel has been provided for each of you to input your decisions. That is all. Oh shit! Oh no, wait, yeah, this is this is, oh, is yeah. actually I forgot. Yeah, I I would say that like earlier in the earlier sections it was more of a instructional mm -hmm. Phoenix, but this one actually is Phoenix. Yeah. Please wait. Yes, Jurist number six. There's something in the jurist's handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. That is correct. I've looked into all your dossiers. None of you were involved with the development of this case. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Dozier's. <laughs> I think it's Dozier, the famous singer. <laughs> with <laughs> Dozier, Dozier, Dossier Cat. <laughs> With the development of the case? I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdicts. Make your decisions in the case against Vera Mission. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely. Judge well. <clears throat> and, uh, you know... Not guilty is the correct answer. Anyway, leave it to it. Leave it to it. Uh, don't let me influence anything. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, I was I, I was genuinely like, who is who is going to be the callback character? Because it has to be a callback character. Uh, all right. Let me. I can't do another save here. God damn it. Yeah. I should have saved again That's okay. later. Guilty. 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 Guilty.
<laughs> yeah. All right, let's go on to Dual Destinies, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Destinies, let's go. Objection. Not the most, not the most interesting. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's no Bad miracle egg? never happened. I won't lie. Yeah, that would have been funny if they did a little bit more with it instead of just being like, okay, no, she was guilty and died. Yeah. <laughs> well, she wasn't even guilty. She hung jury died. Yeah. Also, like, genuinely, if that's the the real ending, like, fuck Lammy War. <laughs> yeah. How could you watch that? Also, yeah, how could you watch that and be like, yeah, I think this kid did it. <laughs> I just kind of feel like screwing her over. <laughs> Lammy War is like, um, sorry, my English isn't very good. Sure, I wasn't I paying attention. Virginia, yeah. So yeah, wait. I don't wait. really know what's happening. If she's a Virginian citizen, why the fuck is yeah. she in? <laughs> don't, even, don't even worry about that part, Zach. <laughs> she misclicked. <laughs> Whoa, well, wait, sorry! I fat fingered it real bad. <laughs> sorry, I didn't get that operation yet. Uh, which one did I click? I'm still blind, I guess. <laughs> This computer was not made for the see for the seeing impaired, you assholes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to click. Alright, not guilty. All right, this time I think she's guilty. Alright, you got it, Prish. <laughs> <laughs> this time. This time she's that is yeah, now genuinely she that's a cool thing of like her sleeve pulls up and you see the bracelet. Uh -huh. Like obviously we yeah. knew this already, but it's still fucking cool. And so, <laughs> what if it just did the same thing? Vera Misham also died. Still died. <laughs> there was one other asshole on the jury who wouldn't say not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, verdict was reached on October 9th at 2.14 p.m. The first verdict under the jurist system. Innocent by unanimous decision. The record will show... When the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. Shit and laugh farted. Louder than anyone ever <laughs> that laugh louder a laugh louder than any ever heard before or since. A laugh that echoed in the <laughs> lingering for what seemed like hours. He's going to uh, like put up a, the the Kaneki Tokyo Ghoul profile picture on his Twitter right now. <laughs> <laughs> October tenth, eight thirty a.m. The morning after the trial, in an, in, an, in an intensive care ward, a true miracle happened. The miracle happened. Vera Misham opened her eyes. Nobody oh cleaned God. this fucking room since I was here after getting hit by that car. And as she opened her eyes, she got really nervous and started biting her nails. No, Vera! <laughs> no, Vera, no! <laughs> I, I realized we missed something. I'm we sorry. Uh, cleaned her hands. I'm sorry, She's miss. We had to remove camera. your nails before you woke up. Oh, <laughs> Surgically remove your nails. You'll. Ne I'm sorry, miss. But you'll never pick your nose again. <laughs> No. I mean, it sucks because there's a non-zero chance that Hottie shows up in this scene. I'm sure they won't do it, or in the credits, but there is a non-zero chance. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. Surely the video game wouldn't do that to us, right? Vera! I'm so glad I... Don't cry, Apollo. <laughs> I'm happy, too. And proud. You did well, Apollo. When I thought about what if Vera, I. Hey now, don't you start crying too. Um, sorry, you had to see us like this. Vera, are you are you gonna cry too? <laughs> you start crying, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> no, huh? I'm good. Thank you so much, Apollo. Thank you. Well. No, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pressed you like that. 
If... If I hadn't, you'd have never bitten your nails! No. I was wrong. To bite my nails. Objection! Staying locked inside like that. Clinging to my good luck charm. You're a... When I opened my eyes and saw you, I finally understood. It's important to be a part of the world. A part of the world. <laughs> to see things with your own eyes. Looks but like Vera, your eyes are closed right now. <laughs> Looks like that poison had some effect after all. It cured her of being a neat. <laughs> Hey, hey, she has a job, okay? She's not a neat, she has You're a right, job. You're right, an illegal job. It's just highly illegal. <laughs> He's an illegal neat. <laughs> killed off whatever was holding Vera back from life. I knew you'd pull through, Vera. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting for the whole time. Your future. I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. No, really, it's okay. No, I'll paint you a forgery of a very famous painting. You can sell it for millions. <laughs> okay. Ooh, <laughs> look, it's me. That's really cute. No, that wait, adorable, that's... Juicy. It's supposed to be Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Is that me? <laughs> she really captured your essence, Apollo. Well, I think so, at least. That's really good. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? Actually, this was supposed to be a picture of All Might. <laughs> <laughs> the other lawyer? Oh! You mean daddy? Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? Technically, yes, it is. No, technically it's <laughs> your fault, Trucy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant. No, it's okay. I'm through looking away from the things I've done. I hope I can look him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He brought all those things for me when he came to visit earlier. You mean that stack of videos? Mr. Wright finished watching them all? Listen, they, they just reused the same asset. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> No, I knew my real daddy was alive. Huh? Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Up until a little bit ago. I was there seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. You did what? How? I'm not telling, because then I'd be an accomplice, and I would go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to do that. He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time, Trucy. But know this. I will be watching. And one day, I shall return. You're the next Grammary, after all. <laughs> yeah, you probably could have cleared that with me first. Uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix is my daddy now. Even if he can't really play the piano. That he can't. Oh, and I've got you too. Even if your voice is kind of loud sometimes. Glad I made your list! <laughs> Stay like that! That was really loud. <laughs> hey, 
come to think of it, where is Daddy? The one who can't play, not the dead one. <laughs> Do you know Apollo? I think he said he had to meet someone. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe it's a new oh. mom. <sighs> Well, your mommy is a daddy, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Juicy. Hmm? Yes, Vera? I was wondering, could you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, was it? Oh! He's not been knighted. <laughs> yet. That's what we <laughs> Here it goes. Yeah. Do an impersonation, Mr. Hat. All right, all right. Pretty he like comes out covered right. in Nakin's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Actually, it's Sir Hat now. I just got knighted. <laughs> Sir Hat of Japan, California. <laughs> Objection, him. Not loud enough. I like Miss Magic. Uh -huh. And I like Miss Magic underwear better anyway. Sure video game. You're going to jail, Apollo. <sighs> That's magic panties, Apollo? So seriously, <laughs> we're gonna drop this bit in the next game, right? So, your memory's returned. I mean, we know who this is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mr. Wright, was this all part of your plan, too? I don't know what you're talking about. When I lost my memory, I was reborn as Lamiwar. But you knew my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. <laughs> you're thinking into it too much. Besides, there was no guarantee that regaining your memory would make you happy. Of course it is a happy thing. For so long, I thought I was alone. And now I will continue to be alone because I won't talk to Apollo. <laughs> now I know I have two dear children. Also, fuck Machi, I guess. He, he wasn't important <laughs> <laughs> Wow, okay. That's. <laughs> I mean, you know, I thought we had a really good time together, but fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Get sunned. Yeah. I'm fuck still him. here. <laughs> I can't go back home, so I'm still here. <laughs> I literally killed me if I go home. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. This, too, I think, is thanks to you. Are you going to tell them? They do not know? Nope. They don't know their mother. They don't even know that they're siblings. I will go to them. When the time is right. It hasn't it hasn't then, been though. I... It hasn't been for time, uh, quite a while. <laughs> don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. They're Yeah. I just it's so it's fine. I just have a few things I have to do. Like I have to go get some milk and cigarettes. Get some milk and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as I do that, I promise I'm gonna tell them. <laughs> be a good child. Be a good parent to your biological child. Challenge impossible in Ace Attorney. I'm just imagining unless, like unless uh, your big wins hockey. I'm just imagining Thalassa showing up to the grocery store and like holding some milk and cigarettes. She like looks over at the aisle and sees like Volant in a prison <laughs> jumpsuit and he's like, oh, wow, this, this is, is awkward. awkward. <laughs> um, so you're, you're single, right? <laughs> By the way, it was totally Zach that shot you. Just putting that out there. Just putting it out there. I don't mean to throw Why any you shade. I gun that day. <laughs> Very important to me, too. A little annoying at times, but still. I have to keep an eye on her, at least. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels on the inside. Your bracelet. 
Yes? I've seen a lot of mysterious things these past seven years. But your bracelets were the strangest of all. Really? I that disagree, was the strangest Phoenix. thing you've seen? <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix, come on! Disagree. Yeah. Come on! I don't know Phoenix. about that one, man. Maybe Phoenix. ghosts would yeah, be Phoenix. a little stranger you've than that? You've talked to the dead several times. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. Several times, Phoenix. What the fuck are you talking about? I remember meeting him half a year ago now in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you. Two fates destined to intertwine. And I was there when they crossed. I'll never forget that. Such a small thing, that bullet. Yet it tore who I was away. Uh, animation uh, in this. this is a really cool animation. Yeah, honestly. yeah. <clears throat> that was the... Uh, 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 yeah, the, the fighting like game. The the Lhasa! <laughs> the Lhasa! Ten years ago, during a simple rehearsal, it was a miracle no one died, but I didn't survive that accident. That is why I left the troop, my family, Now, my memory has returned. I am myself once more. For the first time, I am glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Damn. I mean, really throwing all those years with Machi out of the bus. <laughs> 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 wow, so when you were with me, you wished you were dead? Yeah, okay, like, cool. Kind of a dick move there. <laughs> Just uh, gonna sink into the sun now. <laughs> Speaking of miracles, their emission. Did you know that they never happen? <laughs> their emission regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is a strange thing, fate. Sometimes a life is taken, sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. What do you mean by that? I mean, I got hit by a car, <laughs> and I'm okay. As long as they've got something worth I have a worth feeling like for. if Phoenix, feeling like, he was all, guilty. All of die. those murders I've investigated, those people <laughs> just didn't really want to live enough. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait, sorry. I've still it's got a auto. long way to go. And this power of mine, it's going to take some work. But there's hope now. We lost it, but somehow we found it again. That's why people are smiling. Hope. Danganronpa. Oops, training time. Gotta go. Cords of steel, here comes justice. Objection. Yay. 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 It's, it's time. Oh, God, okay. Go fast, go I'm fast. Rapid, rapid I'm glad you're staying with the agency, Apollo. It's like, like I found my long lost big little brother. Oh, and don't you worry about Troop Grammary. Troopsy's on the case. Now that I have this, thanks to Daddy. Troopsy Grammary? Frankly, I got my doubts. But Hat Grammary, <laughs> now that'll pack them in. That's really good. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love this this bit of like yeah. the cards, the photographs mm -hmm. like falling onto the table. It's not every day you get a trial that rocks harder than one of our gigs, yeah? That's why it's over. The Gaviners are breaking up! The news caused a run on tissues at supermarkets nationwide. <laughs> You're the real stars now. I look forward to our next jam session. Uh, for the people on the call, the one after Plum Kentucky is when you have to be ready to play hit play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> but it should be synced up perfectly with the text. Well, it's finally over. You know, thinking about it, I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. Now that everything's sorted and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll actually take some lessons. 
Or maybe I'll take the bar exam. Again. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, right, Bridge? Uh, the bar exam, no. Retaking the bar exam would not be how you get undisbarred. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your knowledge that's in question. So I was standing around eating snack coos the other day when I got this crazy idea. What if they were golden? You could augment the crunch, or better yet, make them ding. Ah, the power of science. Although the preservatives might not be 100% safe. Literally what? Was that, was that golden snack who? <laughs> <laughs> was that the snack who of 87? I've been playing this game, Apollo Justice. My friend Yami Mash said it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> In unlikely event you are wanting Russian feast, come to Borscht Folk Club. The only thing colder than restaurant is Borscht. Da, but if greater challenge is being required, then come to the hideout. You know who to ask for. <laughs> She's a fun design. Yeah, I like her. I like her card shark design a lot. Oh shit. <laughs> so, Kitaki Pastries is getting back to its eastern roots. Spread the culture and all. Yo, boss, culture time! This is how we write root, Kabish. But we're still about giving back to the people. Yo, boss, PR time! He's doing the eyes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! And this is how we write people, alright? Not that Walkie's paying any attention. Oh, kids! Oh god. Well, speaking of walking. Yeah, here we go. Oh shit, here we go. So it's when he starts talking. Yep. Right, Bazooey! Chinese crackers on a cake was a fly <laughs> idea like 3,000 years ago. Believe that! Man, you want to make it today, you gotta keep it real. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why <laughs> I made the OG cracker. For real. Fuck off. I know it don't look like no cracker, G. What, what do you want me to call it? The OG muffin? Watch Saving Throw! I'm not going to see you whenever we're in a stream together. Hey, nice to meet you. I don't know where all this talk about food is coming from. You ask me, there's only one food, and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one, too. See, this time I just put a big chunk of salt in the bowl. Why pretend? L Dude's noodles is about the salt. Salt forever! <laughs> what? Why? No! Boo! 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 Elden's oh, noodles God, sell this guy. Not you. I kind of forgot about this guy. My exceptionally inquisitive nature has won me an unequivocal adoration in my department. You see, they used to call me Wesley Stinkler and Wesley Stinky Hand. But no longer. I have a new name. One that reflects my true academic nature. Wesley Sicko reporting. <laughs> yes, curiosity is a sickness and I am the cure. I'm that sicko. They're like, ha, yes. <laughs> he's, yes. Oh god, he's going sicko mode. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's good. Oh, absolute quality Bam. Europe. The last, yeah, I was say, that's the last chapter two character. Oh, she's. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. Light has returned to my life, and with it, joy. I may have lost years, but I have gained a treasure. Two treasures, in fact. Which I'm gonna bury. I will think of them when I write my next song. <laughs> she is. She is so pretty, chat women. <laughs> she is so pretty, and we'll never see her again. <laughs> Brush a 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 Here, back on the beat with another interview. Huh? How do I feel about things turned out? How do I feel about how things turned out? 
No scoop yet, but journalist's confidence in mint condition. End quote! <laughs> I know that's him reporting on on uh, Kristoff, but I like the idea that somehow he ended up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they just put him in jail. He's in jail, yeah. It's a nice thought. I've decided to keep painting. Originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to that's see good. a bit of the world outside to find what to paint. But I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. I love that smile. It's very, it's very cute. Where? The door is open. The world is waiting. Thank you. Kingdom Hearts. The door is open. Such devastation! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Mr. Hat and those like other guys. Both, like have their hand on their head, essentially. You see, like an aura coming off of Mr. Hat. <laughs> no fucking way! We don't get Valant in the outro. Are you kidding me? Nope. Fuck. I was tired. For a character that they spend so much time, so on, much it is time kind of on that he's not in it. Yeah. I don't they know. Just well, like, draw my prison video. sprite. Yeah. Yeah, look, he's even right there at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in, his, in his famous green suit. I guess I can uh, finally say what I wanted to say about uh, Kristoff, by the way. Nice. I'll, I'll keep it kind of brief because I don't want to preempt myself too much. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think the way they like handle integrating the jurist system is kind of crucial to Kristoff's whole character, I guess. Mm. Um, because like his uh, whole thing is he's so like I mean you know people will say like oh he's so petty he killed over this one thing and that's true but like <laughs> it has some thematic relevance because like you know he is just like only concerned with appearances Kristoff is not the type of person that actually cares about people or like doing the right thing he only like the reason he freaks out so much here is because his reputation is ruined mm -hmm. at least with the other murder he could have like left it vague and nobody would have known what happened and his uh -huh. colleagues still kind of vaguely respected him and brought him things but this just <laughs> completely ruins his entire legacy and uh yeah. it it kills him because all he cares about is appearances uh yeah he doesn't care about the opinion of the common people or justice or anything, so, you know, that's why he's obsolete. That's why uh, they don't need him yeah. anymore. Well, it would be more it resonant it, it... if the, the system they used to get him ended up being used later, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I, that's, that's the thing. nice to have it... just be a bit more developed in general. As an isolated incident. Yes. This is... This is this... The case for this game is one of my favorite cases in the series. Mm -hmm. When it you has consider the flaws, rest of what's but... to come, mm -hmm. for sure. But like the 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 concept of it and what like the like thematically what they're going for, which is mm -hmm. abandoning what the previous trilogy of Ace Attorney mm -hmm. was doing <laughs> with this. This could have been like the end of Ace Attorney, genuinely. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. have been like. The, the ending point where it's like, cool, no more wacky trials because now there's a jury that's going to, like, impar theoretically impartially judge all cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and Kristoff being the villain to that and as a representation of kind of what was wrong with the mm -hmm. previous with the system. trials. And, yeah. yeah he's, he's sort of the last traces manifest. of the old guard. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's good, uh, he manipulates it. He uses it to his advantage, and mm -hmm. now he's he's a he's a manifestation of everything that was wrong with the previous three games. Yes, mm -hmm. um, and like you know, I know, and I'll kind of, like I I plan to get into this a little bit in my own video when yeah, I finish it. But uh, has a video essay on this entire <laughs> game coming out. Yes, but um, but like. You know, I think while there is a lot of temptation to be like, oh, they didn't use this thing in the next games, so like there there is a temptation there to make fun of it or be like, oh, this, you know, kind of doesn't hit as well. I think if you just take this game in the context of when it was released, mm -hmm. like being completely fair, I think within its own context, it works very well. 
It's just that, you know, it didn't get followed up on. But those are problems with those games, not with this one. Yeah. At least that's the way I see it. So I do need to give my one big thing on this case. Sure. You guys remember this little trilogy of games called Ace Attorney? <laughs> uh, yes. I've somewhat. heard of it. I've heard of it. And you know how in the game we have this character named Maya Fey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's yeah. A teenage, yeah. Who's a teenage girl assistant with magical powers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whose parent abandoned them after a court case <laughs> trial. Uh-huh. And shows up later under a different uh-huh. uh, disguise, but then dies uh-huh. before they have a chance to uh-huh. reintroduce themselves to their kid. And this happened in the third Ace Attorney game, which uh-huh. brought them in. Fast forward. Bridge, I can't, Ace Bridge, I can't see where you're going with this. Fast forward to the fourth Ace Attorney game. We have this character, Trucy Wright. I'm not gonna lie, Bridge, teenage... until you're pointing this out right now, it did yeah. not even occur to me. <laughs> There's a teenage girl assistant with a magical power whose parent abandoned them after a court case scandal, who then comes back at the end under disguise, but is tragically killed before they get to reintroduce themselves to their kid. Yeah. They rip themselves off. One game later, yeah, oh, yeah. they fucking rip themselves off. That made when I realized that, I got so pissed. That is <laughs> horrid writing in my opinion. Mm, you ripped yourselves off yeah. one game later. It's so yeah. bad. That is so bad in my opinion. I, I genuinely yeah. until you said that, I didn't even think of it. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't even go a whole game. No, but just bridge eating their Getting their own sloppy but Pridge, Pridge, but Pridge, she's she's a magician, not a spirit medium. Yeah, she They're doesn't totally actually have different. powers. That's kind of a fun twist. <laughs> you know? <sighs> uh, all right. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for all Apollo Justice Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Uh, again, hey, if you like this, get excited. Tomorrow, we're literally gonna be doing the. Uh, reactions to our best of for our justice for all playthrough and playing the follow-up to our poorly translated ace attorney with case one two uh be very excited for that uh i i can't wait the last one was an absolute blast and uh hey you got a blast if uh you're missing out on nezumi time guess what nezumi has her yeah. own channel where she does a bunch of streams and yeah. does video essays Next. on this exact franchise where, yes. where could I find such content? <laughs> YouTube.com uh, slash Nezumi VA. Yeah. Oh I, my um, gosh. I'm still finishing up the script for Apollo Justice, but that should be coming sometime within the next month, I'm hoping. Um, I've got a Danganronpa another stream tomorrow, and I've got another Umineko stream on Saturday. Hell yeah. But hey, folks. Be excited for Dual Destinies coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. And, uh... This court is adjourned. Herlock gnomes with the big collage of almost all the attorney characters. I refuse to draw hottie. As you should. As you yeah. should. Um, that's your that is your right. Uh-huh. That's in the const that's in the constitution. <laughs> yeah. I, gnomes, I love it when Fuck you send these all. in. These are really, really yeah. cute. They're all so cute. Uh-huh. And like the, the detail you give to all of them is is really, really good. Hell yeah. I love Valant's pose in this too. It's great. <laughs> Emma with so many new hats. We've got all of Troop Grandma hat, which fun fact, this is my first character based Mr. <laughs> hats I made. Uh, I kept them away from the finale to avoid spoilers. Yeah, they look so good. <laughs> they do look good. I like the hair on uh, the Lhasa. <laughs> uh, another random character is Clavier with flaming guitar. Emma and her snackoos. Neil's OC Yvonne Azalea and Gumshoe. Yeah! I mean, so look. Cute. When Nezumi first appeared on the stream, I was at 11 Mr. Hats, and now here I am with 42. Oh my god. Oh I'm my so god! so excited for Dear Destinies and making hats for that game, and thank you for putting up with my Mr. Hat antics. Signing off until next time, Secretary of the Hat Dimension, Emma Sky. <laughs> that is so many hats. And the fact that you've made so many, like, really well detailed versions of these is. It's awesome. It's it's incredible, Emma, and and you deserve all the recognition for it. Pinky with yay! I can't believe you all finished Apollo Justice. I'm still in the middle of Turnabout Serenade, but shh, don't worry about it. Uh, this art fucking rules, uh, Pinky. This is incredible. His, 
he honestly he has one of my favorite breakdowns. Like him looking all fucking crazy. Yeah. His his breakdowns good, but his sprite afterwards uh -huh. is I think what makes it great. Like it's, him it's just really like good. clutching himself and twitching mm -hmm. is is so good. Reading Meadows with She's Coming, I'm so hype. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute like yeah. preview of the character. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's her landing oh, in uh, Japan. Japan. So wait, so wait. Does that mean that Fridge is gonna be Athena? We should figure that out uh, before next week. Ween with now that we've reached the end. Here's Thalassa and her children and my magnum op opus of an art piece. I swear I haven't managed a painting this pretty again. See if you can spot someone in her dresses or in her dress. The first one is very, very adorable. Uh, adorable. Love a mom and, and her children. And this is insanely good. Oh, ow. Oh, I see very Apollo's pretty. hair poking out in this. The bracelet. Bracelet. I'm trying to, there's gotta be a trucy in here. Or something of trucy. I mean, I guess like the doves. I see. Oh, oh I see. It might be Trucy on the left side in the middle. I see the Oh, yep, I see it. I see it. It looks like a red sticker. Yep. Ah, that's really good. This is incredible, William. TK, with nothing but crazy but happy it. finale day. Watching you guys play my favorite Disney Journey game has been such a treat. Here's a little Trucy Doodle as a celebration. Yeah, really, really cute. I love this. Barry Fu with Hi Hi, I've been able to keep up with each new stream for Apollo Justice so my jaw dropped when I saw that this would be the finale. So here's a rush watercolor painting of probably my favorite aspect of Apollo Justice, the Gavin Brothers. Two birds on a wire. Yeah, this watercolor is really, really good. Uh, Very cool. Beautiful shading on this. Mint Mango with I'm not gonna lie, my day's been pretty bad, but I still wanted to be here with the final Apollo stream to cheer me up a little. I have uh, other works in process, I'll just give you the final white man jump scare for the road. Uh, content warning for ice stream. There's lots of bright colors in this, in this one. Yeah, this is really good. Pixelating uh, one yeah. of them is really cool. Like giving like it like a glitched like effect. Yeah, that's awesome. Really, really cool. Grace K with Hey, Long Time Lurker. But I wanted to share something uh, to celebrate the finishing of the game. There's a species of Neopet with the same name spelled the same way. Walkie. Uh, oh, that's cute. cute. <laughs> Damn, a Neopets reference in 2024. I know. This is really good, though. I love this. Uh, I was never a Neopets kid, but I, I really love this design. That's very cute. Uh, Blair with Drew the official Kristoff Gavin Valentine's cake because that's a thing for some reason. Because the best way to show affection is to give your loved one a cake of a murderer on it. What the <laughs> fuck? That's real? First yep. off, that's incredible. Yeah. Secondly, this art is incredible. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, I love this. Uh, third image is the breakdown. Ooh, I love this too. Hell yeah. yeah. I love seeing like all the different artists' representation at this moment. Panic Pang, yo! I made it, I finally finished it! Congrats on finishing the game. So sorry it's not more well-produced drawing. Pan Panic Pang, this shut awesome. up. What are you talking about? Look Incredible. at this, it looks so good. I know I should yeah, apologize, but you awesome. give me so much joy these months. I feel you all deserve so much. Thanks for the good times, and I'm really hyped for the next streams to come. Yeah! yeah. Awesome. This it's is so, so cute. I love this Trucy face. The expression is so adorable. All of this is so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Panic Tank. Thank you so much. Mint Mango with uh, JK. I have one more doodle because I had a bad time today. Well, I found Save Data this past summer after finally playing Ace Attorney for myself, and this was the first series I've watched live from start to finish, for the most part. Thanks to y'all for being funny as hell. On to Dueler Destinies or something like that. Like, greener pastures? Get it? Okay, I'm gonna stop playing. I'm explaining myself now. Yeah. This is really, really good. I love this. Yeah. And holy guacamole, the Chrono Wizard dump of all time. <laughs> Fucking, this is a L.A. Noir reference. You know Strange Boys, Shady? Shoddy? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> hey, I or, hate this spark brushel. Yeah, that brushel is It's you know, terrifying. It's, nightmare. it's really That's good. If it's terrifying. It's incredible. I thought a jury was random. Who did you call, Mr. Wright? Just some old friends. They're from my last job, but don't worry, they'll be impartial. I trust them. Um, from your piano days at the Borscht Club? Oh, 
I was playing a different set of keys back then. <laughs> this fucking uh, Deadpool. Fucking Deadpool. What the fuck? Jury duty? I thought this was an invite to Smash Bros! <laughs> is this character from Marvel v. Capcom? Yes, it is. Yes, they all are. Yes! <laughs> Doom demands silence and a unanimous verdict. Fuck, this is really good. Back in his fighting game. Is. There's so many good <laughs> details. You got Zero, fucking the go Arthur from Ghosts Arthur and Goblins. Jeez, uh, Pete's. These are some you good got, deep cuts. Got, this is also starring Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> it really is. What is this? Oh, it's, a, it's a land party with someone taped to the ceiling. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Yep. All the Virginians going hard on League of Legends or some shit. They're, no, well, it's a land party. They're playing Halo 2. Uh, that's really good. That's really, really good. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, Polly, we have guests. Bring out the fine china. Um, <laughs> this is a Hello Kitty spork. Ah, no. Polly, those are for special occasions. You were supposed to bring out the zoo pals. The fucking zoo pals. <laughs> Hell yeah. Zoo pals. Wow. <laughs> also, this trucy face is incredible. Uh, folks, like once again, thank you all so much. Uh, this has been an absolute blast. Uh, yeah. hey, and we're another game down. We're starting another game. It's crazy. 